So all of you are going to come forward. You can have a little stretch break. Huh? Sab kare ho jayenge, aage aayenge. And what we want to prove is how this is God's light, right? Baki sab light ban kar do. So this is like one God's light, right? So we all know that God's light is always lit. Bhagwan ki light bujhti hai kabhi. He's always lit, right? So, jab ek light lit hoti hai, when one light is lit, all it takes is one light to light the lights of others. And this is what we will prove today. That all it takes is one of you to go and light the light of others. And how you, one person, can make a difference in the world. Okay, so when your light is lit, you can go and light the light of somebody else. So, aage aa sakte ho sabhi, dhyan se aana. I have music. Take your time, go slowly, no speaking, stay in meditation. Also, the light is very symbolic. Koi jaldi nahi hai. So what does light mean? Light has many meanings. Light means, yes, awakening, energy, power. Light is also happiness. When I say I'm light, I'm easy, I'm flexible. Light also means love. Because where there is light, there is love. Light means easiness. <coughs> and then you can take a seat and just hold the light in your hand. So when I say that my light has blown out, then that means all my virtues have gone. Okay? So yeah, just take a seat wherever you are. to respect him a lot and everybody used to come and ask him how is it that you run your kingdom why are everybody happy in your kingdom and he used to say okay I want you to take this Deepak and 
go and see my kingdom and see what you see. At the end of the day, tell me what you have seen, what you have noticed. But he said, Ek sharte, that this light should not blow out. So this man went around the kingdom, looking at all aspects of the kingdom. Then he came back at the end of the day. And then the king asked him, to kya dekha? And he said, well, I didn't see anything. And the king said, why not? He said, because I was too busy looking at this flame. And there's very few people in the world whose light is lit fully, where they can light the way for others. Why are people stumbling? Why is there so much confusion? Lack of clarity, wrong decisions. Because the light is not on. And look how much attention it takes you to make sure that you protect the light. Normally we do this meditation walking because in life you can see the different forces, the different tides that come to blow out the light, the different storms. So if it takes so much attention to keep this light burning, imagine this one. Always stay lit. Always stay fully lit. And the candle is a wonderful example of life because the wax is needed for the light to burn. If there's no wax, the light won't burn. The wick will not burn. So we need life. Like we were saying in the panel discussion, this is life. The ups and downs are all part of life. But the light has to always stay lit. Life will give you the ups and downs, but it's your duty to always ensure that you stay on top of it. This is called the drama of life. The essence of the drama is to express and experience. At every moment we are expressing what's inside and we are experiencing, we are taking in. We are expressing our virtues, we are expressing our character, but we're also taking in from the world. So let us express the best that's inside of us, and let us only take in the best. This is the essence of life. So now once again, let's become still. If you like, you can just focus on the flame. <coughs> And this flame is I the soul. I am eternal. No water can drown me. No fire can burn me. No sword can cut me.
my original nature is that of peace, love, <coughs> truth, purity, and power. And it is only in these qualities that I feel absolutely safe and comfortable. If I'm sad, I want to return back to that happiness. If I'm peaceless, I want to return back to that inner peace. If I dislike someone, I want to return back to loving them. Because this is my original nature. Take this time now to really feel that original nature deep down in your core. If you really go right inside of you, there is a well of peace and love, a well of happiness. meditate, I get in touch with that deepest part of myself. And I emerge more and more peace from within. And I become more and more confident in being peaceful. And that peace is the power. That inner peace enables me to love. That inner peace gives me the strength to respect. That inner peace makes me content. like us to imagine that amidst us is that supreme light as you saw it's God's light that has brought us together all we want to do is share God's light Each one of us has to simply reflect God's light. And for that every morning I just need to clean the mirror. I am the mirror that reflects God's light. And every morning I just polish that mirror. I just polish the soul.
So let's just spend the last few moments in silence. But I'd like you to take this time to sit with God. And I'd like you to tell him the secrets of your heart. Tell him your wish for yourself. Take strength from God. And may you be victorious in everything you do.
stage. Just five minutes before the dinner is laid out. You can all be seated at your places. The first and foremost thing I would like to thank each one of you to have realized the importance of taking time for yourself and being present here. The invitation went out to thousands of people, but you are the fortunate ones who could make it here today. So big applause for your own self to have done it. Thank you so much for coming and spending time with all of us. Also, I would like to thank the entire team of Jagdamba Bhavan for hosting us, for allowing us to have this event here. The team has been working to prepare nice dinner for all of us and all the setup. We'll be getting beautiful blessing cards and prashad or togi as you call it. Sister Sarita on the stage. Sister Varsha on the stage and Sister Prema on the stage. And I would request all of you to come from this side one by one. Thank you and enjoy your dinner. Oh, Rahul, bhai.